Take me out to California. So I'm currently at a standstill on the M69, but I'm heading to the MIBA Awards, the Mums and Business Association Awards, where I am speaking and I am announcing the best blogger, which I'm excited about. But it does mean that I'm fully dressed up in rush hour traffic. Oh my goodness. Lester, sort your driving out, man. Leicester is ridiculous, like in terms of oh, just everywhere's hard work. I forgot how annoying it is to drive in Leicester. Um, and yeah, there's not any parking by the venue. So thankfully I have my trainers with me, which means I'm gonna put my trainers on after and just uh, leg it in my dress to my parking. I can see lots of people all dressed up with their dresses and suits on and stuff so that's nice I and mean, I've got five minutes to mop the sweat from my brow and um, before I go in so I feel so travel sick because I've just been lapping around and round and round you Lester Their best life. So I will let Holly speak about herself. Thank you. I love your Thank you, lovely. So, my name is Holly, and I am a serial entrepreneur. <laughs> when I was little, I can remember setting up a store outside my parents' house, selling homemade perfume, which gave everybody a rash. And a few weeks later, I had a whole factory lineup of all the kids in the street. I got them all together. I was the boss and I made myself an office which I put a little tree branch across my office. I got my piggy bank and I paid everybody a penny a day, which at the time I was like, this is outrageous how expensive. Now I realise I was ruthless. <laughs> I'm 11. I got my first professional TV acting job and my journey into becoming my own boss for real began. Now I believe that some people just have that hustler spirit, that entrepreneurial soul and I can see absolutely loads of you in this room with that same heart. <laughs> loads of you. And at 34, I've done a lot of stuff. I've packed a lot of stuff in. My award-winning YouTube channel gets millions of views. I write for the Huffington Post, Psychologies Magazine's Life Labs, and I was personally asked by Ariana Huffington to create content for her platform, Thrive Global. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool seeing that in my inbox. At 19, I signed to Sony as a singer, and I travelled the UK and abroad actually, doing MTV, Top of the Pops, Nickelodeon, Disney, appearing in Elle Girl, OK Magazine. As an actress, I've appeared in some of my own favourite TV shows, including Viking Grown as Work Sky and all. Some of these, these people are far too even beautiful to remember that. BBC Casualty, Waterloo Road, Criminal Justice, loads of exciting TV shows. I also Big news, got to work with Mr. Tumble. <laughs> At the time, I had no clue who he was, but now, just it, I was in a room doing CBB's radio with him, no clue, you know, young, childless, and now I know that he is a babysitter for our children and we've got work to do. Um, most recently, my no bullshit self development program, The Happy Me Project, has seen hundreds of men and women through its virtual and real life doors. And I feel really proud of that because it's probably one of the most organic pieces of work that I've ever done. And I get to meet so many people. In fact, I have a lot of mix that are going to be showcasing and have showcased their businesses yeah, at the events this year. So that's really exciting. I'm no stranger to hard work and I'm no stranger to success. But I own both my wins 
and my failures. And just like most of you here, I don't stand here from a place of ease. Just 18 months ago, my husband Ross died of brain cancer. And saying that sentence doesn't do justice to the reality of what that actually means. So when I was told I had five minutes to speak, I got up and quickly blast off some advice, some things that I've learned along my, my business journey, and I hope that it will help some of you guys along yours. So number one, and I know we'll be touched on time and time again, stay in your own damn lanes. Stop focusing on what everybody else is doing. Because it is not going to help you to grow, it is not going to help you to develop. Number two, don't be scared to fail. Don't be scared to fail big. The most successful people in the world have failed more than once. It's about what you do from there. Because failure, it means you're trying. It's about bouncing back from that, what the next step is. Number three, choose wisely whose opinions you are listening to. Listen to your customers. Listen to those people that you serve. Listen to your coaches, your mentors, people like Estelle and Leona. Listen to these people because they are maybe ahead of you in their business journey. Don't listen to your neighbour or that dickhead who posted something on your Facebook post that you did or your friend from school. Don't necessarily listen to your families because even though they love us, they may not understand our journeys and that's okay. You don't have to prove anything to them with your words, just prove it with your actions. Yes. Number four, if something no longer feels right, stop, change, shift it up and if you need to scrap the whole idea and start fresh, that's okay too. You don't have to be the same person forever. You don't have to do the same business forever. It is okay to change. Give yourself a break. Wear many hats. And if we are the same people now, in 10 years as we are now, then I think that that means that we failed. We need to keep growing and keep developing. And lastly, and you heard Heather say it as well, the most important thing in whatever you do is getting on top of your mindset. Working on that, or working on your mind in the same way you work on your bodies. Because if that isn't right, doesn't matter what, how good your business is, at some point you're not going to feel great and it's not going to go the way you want to. Over the next year, I'm going to be touring my Happy Me project, my No Bullshit Self Development Workshop. And I want to see as many of you as possible there. I mean, Nottingham, Liverpool, Manchester, Newcastle, Coventry, and probably London at some point as well. with helping you to live a life that you love. Because life is unfair, life is tough, so what? What are you gonna do next? And that's what we'll be talking about at the workshops, because I want you to live a life that you absolutely adore, whatever that takes. Now, I've blathered on a lot, and I am very excited because I get to announce the Blogger of the Year, which is an amazing award. I love words, I'm very excited announce the nominees. Charlie Edwards. Claire, is it Peter? Peter? Peter. Claire Peter. Heather Rose. Laura Young. And Roxy Lane. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Very excited.